Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth and final round of the PGA Tour uh, 2K21 uh, My Career with Bogey Baker, episode 48, I believe, yes, uh, episode 48. And today, uh, we're going to try to wrap up this um, oh, here at the uh, Ravine Open here at Ocean uh, Memories. Trying to wrap up this uh, final round here, and hopefully, um, should be an interesting one uh, as we're back in this one here. Now uh, we'll take a look at the leaderboard here, actually, uh, to show you what is going on uh, with Bogey and the rest of the golfers here. We're eight under here, uh, tied for second place now with Justin Thomas, as we shot at 69 overall in the uh, third day there. So now uh, we have a chance now here to um, get, uh, our, uh, you know, uh, we, if we can play some good golf here and hopefully, um, you know, get ourselves uh, set up here where we can play. Or um, uh, what is his name? Uh, Justin Rose there can hopefully have a bad day. <laughs> and uh, if we can do that then we can uh, be able to go ahead and have a successful um, uh, tournament here. Uh, so we gotta, we really need to hit some, get, you know, hit a 60, I'd say, a, well, if we can hit a 65, that'd be great. That would put us there. Uh, but yeah, somewhere in the um, mid 60s there, I think we'll have a good shot of getting ourselves um, in position there for hopefully for a win. Um, uh, that, that should be helpful uh, for us and I uh, cannot wait to uh, try to get Bogey back in this tournament. This was a, it's been a fun tournament here. We've, you know, especially from day one, uh, we did pretty well. So now we just got to try to see if we can make up things here in this uh, fourth round and Try to do good. Uh, try to get ourselves back in, in uh, the right direction. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's get out to the course here today. And uh, let's see what we can do here for bogey uh, on this uh, third or this uh, fourth and final round of this uh, tournament. All right. So here we are for the uh, third and final round of the PGA Tour and final round of action here today uh it's sunday so last chance now here to try to get back in this one and like i said we're eight under we're just three strokes um uh there's just three strokes uh, separating us and justin rose uh for the top spot here in this tournament and like i said we've been doing a great job to fight back in here especially uh there on round two and then uh, we almost had it there in round three but uh, we kind of had a little issues there towards uh there i believe on uh, hole 14 and 15 i think it was that we had trouble in so we'll try to see if we can clean things up here today as bogey and uh bogey and company here bogey trying to get himself going here Bogey's going to keep that on the fairway. Nice job. And we'll see how he does now here on this second shot. As Bogey lines that up pretty well. And that's going to be really nice for Bogey. So nice second shot there from Bogey. As he gets that one as close as he can to the cup. And we'll see if uh, we can now try to get this birdie shot here. Ooh, I go back a little bit this way. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> ah. All right. So go for par. So we get par there. That's not too bad. But uh, you know, been been been, in, been better if we got the birdie shot. So uh, Bogey gets uh, the par here on one. And uh, there you see now, we've uh, Justin and Adam uh, already kind of started ahead of us here, and we're still at eight under. So tie for fourth now. Let's go here with Bogey on uh, hole number two, par five. Hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Um, by the time this video is released, I should be making my way back towards uh, heading home. I should be on the road right now <laughs> uh, with my family uh, heading back from uh, Houston. As I am recording this a couple days beforehand. Try to get this back on the fairway here as we do so. And nice job. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Bring that back. Bring that back. Nice job there, Vogue. That's a nice shot. We're going to look like we're going to go to 16. And we'll see who this is. It looks like somebody's wrapping up here for the final round here today. And he makes a nice shot there. Great shot there for Tony as he gets there at par on a 16. And uh, he's at two under here right now. Let's go back to Bogey here on two. And Bogey looking for a birdie shot here. Oh, nice. Nice shot. All right, let's get this. And a nice shot there from Bogey as that drops in there. He goes nine under now. That definitely puts us in the mix now here for uh, the top uh, top uh, the top three spots there. And just uh, two strokes behind Justin and just a stroke behind, or excuse me, just a stroke behind Justin Thomas and two strokes behind Justin Rose there. Here we are on a par four here on three. So nice, nice drive there from Bowie. Let's go for the second shot here. This one. Oh, nice job there from Bogey. This has a nice shot. See, now we can do something on this birdie. A nice. Nice job there on that birdie shot there from Bogey as he's now 10 under here. He has two birdie shots now in a row here on this front nine. Let's see if we can keep it up. Make a third one here as he's now hot or no, still behind. Now two strokes behind Justin Rose. It's 
a nice shot there to get us on there. Of course, this is going to be a pretty far. Uh, it's going to be a tough shot here for Bur uh, for Bogey. So we'll see how we can play this. It's a tough birdie shot here. But oh, so we get par here. Make a nice, decent par shot now. There you go. So we don't move anywhere on the board, but we stay right there in the hunt on Justin Rose. And that keeps us there at 10 under. As we're going to go to hole number five now. And uh, we'll see who this is. Uh, Patrick. As he tries to get it to, uh, pretty close to that cup there. And just could not get it in there that time around, so... Let's go back to the leaderboard here, and we'll see how this is right now. It's uh, Justin Rose, uh, still first place. Now Justin Thomas now has uh, jumped over us at 11 under. So just one stroke between us and Justin Thomas, and of course two strokes between us and Justin Rose. So here we are now at par four here on five. This should be a nice shot there on the fairway. As that's going to keep us on schedule here now. <coughs> Excuse me. Here on the fairway. shot there so now we'll try to see if we can get a decent birdie shot here lined up and try to see how this hole is going to play for us And a nice birdie shot there for a bogey as he goes now 11 under. Let's see what the leaderboard looks like as he gets another birdie shot here. He is actually flying through this front nine very quickly. And there you see tied to second place with Justin Thomas, but one stroke behind Justin Rose here after five. So now here we are at bogey at par, par four here on four, or excuse me, par four on six. Let's see what we can do here on this one. That's a nice shot. Stays on the fairway. Evens out pretty well. Let's go to the second shot now here for Bogey. Ooh, this one. A little fast. But nice job there. <clears throat> this is going to come on the back end of the f cup. But keeps us on the green there. We're looking to see what kind of shot we can get here from Bogey. Oh, 
Alright, so we can get a par shot here. See we, how we can line this up. Oh, nice. There we go. And we get the par shot there. Nice job there, Bogey. As we're just playing a little strategy here, just trying to stay within our you know, memes. Hopefully Justin will kind of slip up some on his uh, chance here as we see. Bogey. Oh, wow. Justin Thomas jumps up, gets a nice... Uh, he probably got a eagle there to help him out. And uh, now he takes a uh, lead here. So <laughs> this uh, last round, going back and forth here now. We'll see, uh, we'll just kind of just stick with Bogey and just just make some good shots here. Nice drive there from Bogey. This one going to be all back on the green there. As he gets in the heavy rough. It's a nice shot there. See what he can do here now on his next shot. Oh, come on. So we got to make up in this shot here. Okay, what the heck's going on now? Oh, dang it. That's what we needed two strokes ago. All right, so we go bogey, go back one, we're on 10. This is really not what I wanted there. I don't understand why the, my shots are coming up short like that I just don't get it I've been working on that here lately and uh, I don't know what, what the deal was she just put it nice shot there for bogey Going for Burry here. How am I going to play this? Oh boy. There we go. We get the par shot. And that keeps us 10 and under. Ah, just a tough seventh hole right there. Let's try to see if we can finish it up here strong here on nine. As Justin Thomas now has a four stroke lead over us, Justin Rose has one.
So that is going to stay on the fairway there. And that should be a great shot there for Bogey. Let's see what he can do now here on this one. job there bogey all right so now long birdie shot here Come on, come on, that was, that lined up perfectly. And we get par, dang it. So we'll go with 33 there in that uh, front nine there. And we take a look there, Justin Rose. 12 under, just two shots between us and him, and Justin Thomas, four shots. So we're on 10 now. That one's going to be on the fairway there. That's what we need. <clears throat> so nice second shot there keeps us on the fairway now now we got to try to make a decent shot here to help us out here on to get on the green Well, not necessarily on the green, but ah. Let's try to go for par here on this shot. And we get par. So not too bad there from Bogey. Stay at 10 under. And we'll try to see what we can do now on 11. It's a par 3. Uh, let's try to see if we, if we can uh, try to get back in this one. Justin Rose, he's having a little trouble there. He's now back uh, in second place with uh, 12 under. Justin Rose back uh, back at the top spot with 13 under. So the two that have been leading so far are starting to slip. Hopefully they'll slip a little bit more. Uh, but of course we got to take advantage of making some really good shots here. So let's try to make this a uh, this par shot on 11 or a birdie shot on 11. Nice shot. 
Of course. Nice! Birdie shot there from Bogey. That puts us 11 under here. I wasn't sure I was going to get that shot or not, the way how those greens were playing right near the cup. But there you see, we're just two shots behind Justin Thomas and just a shot behind Justin Rose. This is going to be coming a good final round here for golf here today. Let's go now to 12 on this par 4. There you go. Get up on the green there. Skip up there. Nice shot. Let's see how this birdie shot goes here on 12. And it's going to be oof, pretty fast. Oh, cannot get any better than that. Go up just a little bit. Get in there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Go for par. Oh my goodness. Seriously, these shots like this. <laughs> Very frustrating there. But we get par. Ah, that would have been a nice birdie shot. But we just could not get it. But bogey. There we see now. Justin Rose. Oh, wow. Justin Rose is. Oh, now we got Adam Scott there. He's at 11 under. Alright, I have a little issues with my microphone, or at least not with my microphone, my headset here, that, whatever, I think I shortened my cords there. Alright. Nice shot there. Hopefully it keeps us on the fairway there. A nice play there from Bogey. I'm go with the driver here. Oh, come on, don't start this now. Ah, oh, 
Come on. Go for par here. for bogey. Dang it. Ah. Hopefully that'll be it for the bogeys here. Bogey. <laughs> As we get to there, we see just two strokes back now of Justin. Three strokes back behind Ju uh, Justin Thomas. And Justin Rose just two strokes out of us. So, see what we can do here on 14. Just need a really good eagle shot here to get us back in this game. Of course, I figure this final round would be a good test for us here. It's that shot there, not where really where I wanted it, but just have to take it. Where I wanted it, but hey, that's fine. Uh, that's our thing now. Here, we just got to make long birdie shots. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Got to love it. go for bogey again so we're down nine nine under and we're gonna start sliding back down the opposite direction where we need to go we're in fifth a few more holes left to play yet to play here and of course anything can happen uh, the guys at top can really have a bad time here in these final uh, two or three holes but I don't think that's going to happen. Nice job there. Get on top of there. Now let's see if we can get this birdie shot here. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> Jeez. And the putt goes in. So there you are, still at nine under. As uh, we uh, take a look at the leaderboard right now, and we're tied for fourth. As uh, people are starting to fall now. Patrick there at eleven under. He's just two strokes ahead of us, and of course, so is Justin Rose and Justin Thomas, three strokes ahead of us. See what we can do here on this shot right here. There you go. So use a driver that second shot there. Help us out. So we have to go to the far right. Mm. All right, should I go for par? Jeez. And we get a par shot there. So we stay at nine under. And we'll see what the leaderboard looks like now. Still, what, two more holes to play? As we're in fifth place right now. So, best we, it looks like we could finish a top 10 finish. But, uh, it looks like everybody else there is pretty much locked in to where they're at. So, 17 here, par three. Pray for a miracle, fellas. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, come on. See, that's what I'm talking about. Go for par here. Jeez. Damn. Damn it. Good moving. You don't really have to make me do this. 
Oh my god. You got, are you kidding me? Really? So double bogey there. That puts us at seven under. Uh, not what I was wanting to happen. So that now definitely it's going to put us down. We'll still be in the top 10. I just don't know exactly where. It's Patrick here. Shoots this one there. He, ooh, hits that one off the, the flag there. and That ball does not go in. So let's see what the leaderboard looks like now after a double bogey. And that puts us a fifth as we're seven under par. So, let's see here. Justin, of course, took this one here from us. As take the final sh uh, hole here. Right, and we'll see here how this one's going to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? Oh, jeez. Well, at least hit off the flag there. I'll just go for par here and wrap this up. Of course, these shots like this have not been too kind to us. There you go. So we finished. Oh, just one over par. Jeez. Ah, with all those damn that damn bogey shot there on 17 that you're seeing right there. Really screwed us up. And uh, it was a nice comeback, but just coming up short here, like I said, Sundays, you know, not the days you want to come back here and try to win a tournament. Uh, you got to do it on Thursdays and Fridays. Just uh, get yourself set up to win for uh, Sundays. So you take a look there, final standings there. Justin Rose finished 13 under. Uh, for the tournament, he wins it. Uh, we finished plus one for the day, uh, but for the tournament, we finished seven under. So, like I said, it was a good comeback there. Uh, we, you know, we fought back, but just uh, you know, we I knew I kind of figured it was going to be, you know, we were going to come up short, uh, which we came up quite short. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, this was just going to be a um, little bit of a dogfight, trying to you know keep alive in this one here. And, um, you know, it was a good fight, good good battle, but uh, we came up on the on the wrong end of it. Uh, Justin Thomas finished the day for four under. Uh, he finished the tournament for uh, twelve under. Uh, Patrick there at eleven under for the tournament, three under for the day. Adam Scott two under for the day, 12, uh, ten under for the tournament. He takes fourth place, we take fifth. So we do get a top 10 finish, uh, but of course, uh, that is not gonna help us out here. And now Justin, uh, well, Justin Thomas should be a little bit closer to us in the standings uh, within a couple hundred now, um, well, within a hundred of us here in the FedEx uh, standings there. We'll take a look at that here uh, before we uh, finish this video up here. So 
So you see the experience points that we're getting here. And of course, it uh, looks like no rewards or anything. And then rivalry update there. Ian Polar. There you see. Between the two of us and this one. And of course, our uh, contract expired. And yeah, we did not do so well there as we finished seven under. We had to be eight under or better uh, to get uh, that uh, checked up. And that was not the case there. So we only got 300 experience points there. We need 1,200 to move on to the uh, to get to that first level there. There you see the leaderboard, uh, the final round of each round there for each guy. And like I said, just one uh, over par there. Uh, first round we finished two over par. Uh, but the second and third round, we uh, finished, you know, quite well under par. Just not our tournament here once again. Like I said, you can't win them all. Be nice. <laughs> uh, we, I think we we're, we're accustomed of winning all of them. But, um, you know, competition is getting tougher now here. So and that's, what, uh, that's, that's what's going to have to happen. And that's how it's going to happen uh, for here on out. So. But, you know, we got a good start there of the tournament. And, uh, you know, these tournaments here. And now it's starting to, start to, you know, reality starting to set in here for bogeys on these uh, tough shots. And we, like I said, we got to make better, uh, closer, uh, more smoother birdie shots. Can I make these long birdie shots at all? They're not in our favor at one whatsoever. I've been trying my best to make sure we get those uh, short birdie shots there. But um, for whatever reason, we're just keep we go overpowering uh, that's something I need to really work on I've been trying to work on um, you know long range stuff but I think I might have to go back and train again and start working on uh, short range putting and stuff like that so so there you have it uh, look take a look at the standings here before we go and uh, the next uh, tournament there is the waste management Phoenix Open there you see Bogey. Uh, yeah, Justin Thomas just 489 points behind him as we've played in eight tournaments so far here. There you see 2,840, uh, excuse me, 2,802 points now. The lead right now. Justin Thomas just 489 points behind Bogey. Uh, there you see the rest of the guys there. So a lot of people are starting, you know, uh, this is a two-man tournament or, or a two-man race for the cup uh, for the championship this year. But, uh, you know, uh, we'll have to see how well we do here in this Phoenix Open um, Waste Management uh, Tournament, uh, which will be coming up here, uh, which will be the next uh, tournament for us. Um, but, yeah, we'll try to see what we can do. Also, I'll pick up a new sponsor, try to see what we can do, um, and, and try to uh, get, our, get ourselves some sponsorships there and complete those. But uh, yeah, we're going to go to Scottsdale, TPC Scottsdale, and this is the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Should be a good one here, and uh, we're out going to be on the West Coast again, and um, don't know much. I mean, I've heard this uh, course before, I've seen it before, but never played on it before uh, so should be a good one hopefully you guys will be able to uh, show up here and uh, cheers on here as we try to get something going here for bogey we gotta get back on the right track here we gotta play some good golf here and we'll try to do that coming up in this next one so uh, if you guys enjoyed today's episode if you guys enjoyed the series please leave a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more bogey baker my career here on uh pga tour 2k21 uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new hit that bell notification also so you guys can be notified of when uh, this series or any other series here on the channel drops here on esg and nlp and uh, thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow us on facebook twitter and discord there are my discord is down below there's a link there check it out be a part of the esgn nation and uh, follow us there and uh, support the channel and all that good stuff so you know trying to try to build a community here trying to uh, 
build build my own community, but also trying to be a part of other uh, the sports gaming community here on YouTube. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and as always, keep yourselves and each other healthy. Wear a mask, stay safe, and I will hopefully see you guys in this tournament coming up uh, here uh, later in the week on Thursday. But that is it for me. I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.